here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of differential equation of higher order with constant coefficients okay welcome to video number 16 and from this video onwards we are going to start a very new topic and very 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 important topic that is method of variation of parameters okay very important topic i must say okay and uh, under this topic we are going to solve four important problems okay let me show you these four important problems that we are going to solve under the topic of method of variation parameters okay basically in these four problems we are going to solve um, okay in these four videos we are going to find cf and pi okay video number 16 video number 17 video number 18 and video number 19 and if you watch all four videos then i must say that you can solve any of the problems that belongs to this topic okay so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, this chapter with your friends okay if you are doing this you are supporting me indirectly okay so let us start solving first problem the question says solve by method of variation of parameters that is d square plus 4 into y equals to 10 to x okay here the equation given is d square plus 4 into y equals to 10 to x okay so we can say the equation is already in the symbolic form okay the equation itself is in the symbolic form so we need to find auxiliary equation of this equation so auxiliary equation is m square plus equal to zero how to write auxiliary equation simply equate the coefficient of y that is d square plus four to zero okay but here in place of m i am writing so in place of d i am writing m okay so its auxiliary equation is given by m square plus four equal to zero okay that is m square equals to minus four m equals to plus minus of root over of minus four root over of minus 4 can be written as root over of minus 1 and root over of 4 okay this positive neg negative is as it is what is this root over of minus 1 that is i and what is root over of 4 that is 2 so we can say m equals to m equals to plus minus of 2i okay this further can be written as 0 plus minus of 2i okay so how to find the value of cf that is complementary function for such values of m let us see when the roots are imaginary okay that is m equals to alpha plus minus i beta okay in that case what is complementary function that is e to the power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x okay when the roots are imaginary that is m equals to alpha plus minus beta okay i beta in that case what is complementary function e to the power alpha x c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x okay yes this is the value of complementary function cf so cf equals to here we have e to power alpha x that is 0x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x and what is the value of beta that is 2 so c1 into cos 2x plus c2 into sin 2x okay this part will become 1 so we have cf equals to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x this is the value of complementary function for this equation okay now we need to find the value of pi okay and in this method that is variation parameters in the method of variation parameters there is a different way to find the value of pi okay the value of pi is equals to minus y1 integration y2 x this here we have capital x okay upon capital w d dx okay plus y2 integration y1 x upon w into dx okay here y1 here we have y2 negative positive and within this integration we have y2 here y1 and x upon w is as it is okay now let us see what is y1 y2 x and w okay so if you see we have complementary function as c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x okay what is y1 okay y1 is the coefficient of c1 that is cos 2x okay so y1 equals to cos 2x and y2 is, is the coefficient of c2 that is sin 2x okay what is x x is the yes here you can see x is this 10 to x okay the right hand side part of the problem is capital x okay and what is w w is what we need to find okay because w stands for ronsky and determinant okay w stands for ronsky and determinant and to find this we have w equals to determinant of y1 y2 upon y1 dash y2 dash okay what is y1 y2 that is cos 2x sin 2x okay here we have the value of y1 y2 okay so y1 y2 that is cos 2x sin 2x and what is the differentiation of y1 okay that is differentiation of cost will uh, cost to x will become minus of sin 2x into 2 okay so y1 dash will become minus 2 sin 2x okay again we need to find the value of y2 dash 
and y2 is how much sin 2x so differentiation of sin 2x will become cos 2x into 2 that is 2 into cos 2x so okay so the on-screen determinant equals to this now we need to solve this determinant and and i am sure that you must be aware of how to solve this that is this into this minus this into this okay if you multiply both you will get 2 into cos square 2x okay minus here we have negative sign again so minus minus will become positive here we have 2 sin square 2x okay if you take 2 common here you will get cos square 2x plus sin square 2x okay now this becomes 1 so 2 into 1 will become 2 so here we can say the on scan determinant is equals to 2 so finally we can say uh, y1 equals to cos 2x y2 equals to sin 2x okay tan 2x equals to x capital x and what is w that is 2 okay so putting all these values in the formula of pi so this is going to be yes here we have minus y1 what is y1 that is cos 2x integration y2 x upon w what is y2 that is sin 2x what is x that is tan 2x upon w that is 2 right here dx plus y2 what is y2 that is sin 2x integration y1 that is cos 2x x that is tan 2x upon w that is how much 2 okay dx now we need to solve this okay integration now here we can see this is minus cos 2x as it is okay now tan 2x can be written as sin 2x upon cos 2x sin 2x into sin 2x will become sin square x upon 2 into cos 2x okay dx here now again here we have sin 2x here okay cos 2x into sin 2x upon cos 2x so cos 2x cos 2x will get cancelled what is left that is sin 2x upon 2 dx now this sin square x okay here you can see this is as it is that is minus cos 2x okay integration sin square 2x can be written as 1 minus cos square 2x okay 1 minus cos square 2x uh, okay so upon 2 into cos 2x now here we have dx solving this we can take this 2 here so this is sin 2x upon 2 and integration of sin will become minus cos okay integration of sin is minus cos so minus cos 2x upon coefficient of 2 that is 2 okay now we can come to the next step that is minus cos 2x because we can take this 2 here okay minus cos 2x upon 2 integration 1 upon cos 2x is sin 2 uh, sec 2x okay 1 upon cos 2x is sec 2x and here we have minus as it is cos is square 2x upon cos 2x that is cos 2x okay and don't forget to write dx here okay negative positive look on negative okay yes sin 2x into cos 2x upon 2 into 2 that is 4 okay now coming to next step okay very 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 important step okay that is minus cos 2x upon 2 is as it is okay yes integration of sec 2x dx okay integration of sec 2x dx is log sec 2x plus tan 2x okay log sec 2x plus tan 2x upon coefficient of this x that is 2 okay now integration of cos okay this negative is as it is integration of cos will become sine okay so sin 2x upon coefficient of x that is 2 okay so this part is clear okay now coming to this part so we can multiply and divide 2 okay so that this will become minus of 2 sin 2x into cos 2x upon 2 into 2 that is 4 okay coming to next step you can see here we have minus cos 2x upon 4 okay because because we have taken this 2 common here okay so we can take this here okay so if you take this so this will become minus cos 2x upon 4 okay and here we can see that is log sec 2x plus tan 2x now again if you open this bracket this is multiplied with this okay that is negative negative become positive cos 2x upon 2 into sin 2x upon 2 that is cos 2x into sin 2x upon 4 and here okay this can be written as minus okay minus this 2 sin 2x into cos 2x will become yes if, again you can see 2 2 gets cancelled here we have 4 okay that is sin, sin 2x into cos 2x upon 4 okay and both the terms will get cancelled so finally we can say that is pi okay what is the value of pi that is co minus cos 2x upon 4 log sec 2x plus tan 2x this part okay yes we could have taken this part as it is okay because on multiplying 2 and divide 2 nothing has changed okay because finally we have cancelled both okay cancel both terms so pi equals to minus cos 2x upon 4 into log 
sec 2x plus tan 2x this is the value of pi okay now we'll come to the complete solution what is the value of complete solution that is y equals to cf plus pi okay this is the value of pi and what is the value of cf let us see once again the value of cf is c1 into cos 2x plus c2 into sin 2x okay now coming to the last part of this problem that is complete solution so the co complete solution of this question is y equals to cf plus pi okay this is the part of cf that is c1 plus c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x and the value of pi is this part that is minus cos 2x upon 4 log sec 2x plus tan 2x okay and this is the final solution of the given problem thank you thank you so much